Hello guys! That's the fire effect we'll be achieving today. As you can see we have three colors of a flame, a default one, a green kind of uh, burning legion demons one and a blue one which looks like a kind of soul transfer or something. So just let's jump into it! Okay guys, but before we begin I would like to say thanks to the sponsor of our today's video who is uh, me. So if you like the video, consider subscribing and liking, it really helps to promote the growth of this channel. Okay, so to the video. Okay guys, so we start with creating a new particle system. As the most important thing, we want to change the start speed of the particles to something about 1 or 1 1.5. That will be uh, it. When it comes to emission, let's set it to 20, uh, right over f time, it will be good. The shape of emission can stay as a cone or a box as you want, I will put it to cone. I will change the angle to, one, to 0 and the radius to something like 0 0.115. Bring this uh, look of a flame. And right now only important thing is to change the size over lifetime but we want to make the curve look a little bit like this and we also decrease the maximum value in time so it shapes in this kind of a fiery looking cone let's change the color to a kind of deep orange as you can see and it already a bit resembles a flame which can be used in this way if you are making a cartoony way, cartoony type of a game, I don't know. But right now what we need is to import a kind of uh, fire texture you can see, you can find on every Google. So that's the fire asset I found by just typing fire into a Google search engine. So you know, you just need a generic fire asset, fire object can be this can be something other so what we need is we have to create a new material for this so we create a new material let's name it fire for the sake of being and now look now be careful we have to put this fire as a texture on this material but it's not that easy not that simple we have to go into material and push this little free dotted button and go to debug mode and right now we have to go into saved properties go into saved properties then text every something main texture and we go into second and now we can put texture inside so as you can see now we have to go back to normal uh, view of the inspector and remember to put the texture type to default not uh, editor 2D. Okay, so as you can see, we have put the texture on the sphere, on this material, so it already is rendered the way we, it should be. Quite a nice view. And now we can just easily drag and drop this texture onto particle system, just like this. So now we have to go to particle system and go into the shader mode and change the standard shader into... Um, it will be generally in the legacy shaders, I have it in legacy shaders, but maybe you'll have it in the default particle one if you have an older version of Unity. So we go to particles, additive, and we take additive. Uh, you can choose the soft version if you want, but uh, I think the, the normal uh, one looks just as fine. And now we have a few tweaks to the look of the flame. So we can change the we can change the rotation of the particles if you want. You can mess with the size over lifetime to make the fire longer and thinner or shorter as you want. Also you can mess with the color to, to change it into different type of a flame. So uh, those alien looking type flames which can be 
be used in any type of effect you want to achieve. So you know, the sky is the limit. Okay, and uh, here we have just a different texture I used for this effect. So you can see here what type of Minecraft looking flame. I know, maybe you, maybe somebody likes this kind of flame. With this texture we achieve, uh, on the other hand, this type of effect. Which is also nice, but it has this kind of weird looking glow. I know, uh, maybe you like it, maybe not. So, you know, it's your call. Thank you for watching and remember to eat meat.